Today we'll be talking about the Amazon Staten Island Union. Amazon was founded in 1994 by Jeff Bezos in Bellevue, Washington. It started off as an online bookstore, but it has quickly expanded into other things such as electronics, furniture, and even groceries. Today, the company has a presence in over 190 countries, and it has also expanded into music and video streaming. I will give you the description of the situation and its evolution at the JFK 8 location. In 2020, Chris Smalls was fired after leading a walkout due to COVID safety protocols. He wanted Amazon to improve there. Unionization effort was also pushed due to working conditions, uh, better pay, and lack of opportunities. Workers reported long hours, inadequate breaks, and safety concerns, as well as lack of job security. In 2022, the JFK Amazon Fulfillment Center announced plans to unionize under the Retail, Wholesale, and Department Store Union. Timeline exhibits. On March 20, in March 2020, Chris Smalls was fired after leading the walkout in an attempt to improve COVID safety protocols. On February 2022, the, the RW DSU filed a petition with the National Labor Relations Board to hold a union election at JFK 8. On May 2022, employees at JFK 8 voted on whether to unionize. The, the results are expected to be announced in June. I'm going to describe some of the firm's stances, uh, including the impact on the different constituents. The RWDSU is representing the employees at JFK 8. The union's interests include improving work conditions, increasing pay and benefits, and giving a workers a voice in decisions that affect their jobs and lives. Amazon has taken a firm stance against unionization, arguing that it is both harmful to the company and its employees. Amazon has also accused the union of Amazon has also been accused of retaliation against employees who side with the union. What actions has both parties taken to enforce their demands or resolve them? Amazon Labor Union continues to try and bring Amazon to the bargaining table. Amazon continues to appeal any decision that has been made regarding the union. Are they engaged in negotiation? As of April 2023, the situation remains unsolved. Amazon and the RWDSU are engaged in ongoing negotiations, but the outcome is still uncertain. What has caused the problem? The cause of the problem is a combination of factors, including concerns over work conditions, pay and benefits, as well as a large push for workers' rights and protections in the face of automation. Um, as we know, technology is continually increasing and these people are scared to lose their jobs over technology. What do I think the firm should or could do differently to meet the challenges of the union? Well, we've stated what the what the workers want, right? Um, one of their biggest problems, one of their biggest challenges is Amazon is a, is a massive company. Um, they have a lot of money, a lot of resources. As we know, Jeff Bezos is one of the richest men in the world. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, but it's very simple. If they're getting, if they feel like they're overworked, um, then they should be able to accommodate for their workers. Especially like if they're doing an extra job, I feel like they've been wanting more pay sometimes. Like, yeah. If the situation resolved, the situation at the Staten Island location has not been resolved. As of January of this year, the NLRB has dismissed Amazon's allegation that the unionizers, that the union organized improperly and influenced the vote. This decision meant that Amazon needed to begin bargaining in a good faith, but Amazon has been appealing. As of March 2023, Amazon Labor Union has made little to no progression about bringing them to the bargaining table because of their consistent appeals. What do we think about the situation? What do I think would be optimal? I think Amazon has the money to take care of their workers. If you talk to anybody that works at Amazon, they, they say it's hell. It's hard. They're always watching you. Um, and they're constantly on their feet. It's very yeah. tough. 12 hour shifts every day, um, doing different tasks, moving from building to building. Like, yeah. It is hard and it, it does pay well. It does pay well, but um, there are things that um, 
there are minimum standards for an employee that they need. You know, they need they, if they need to feel safe, they need to feel protected, and they need to feel like their job isn't on the line right. every time they work. Benefits. So I think that Amazon should come to the bargaining table in good faith and make something happen for their employees. Thank you. Thank you.